Hello everyone and welcome back to this MLflow series. Uh, this video will be all about MLflow tracking and we will start by easily converting a machine learning model to MLflow. So in first place I advise you to clone or download uh, my GitHub uh, repository. I will leave the link uh, to this repo in the description of, of this video. Um, and inside this, this repository you will find one folder for each part of this series and for this video we will need uh, part 1 MLflow tracking inside you have a folder containing the, the notebook that we will explore and, and you also can, can see here a brief description uh, of what we will be doing ok so now that you have uh, downloaded my repo, or at least I hope you did, uh, you will need to create a Databricks account uh, if you don't have one already. Um, in my case I will be using uh, Azure Databricks, but you can use Databricks Community Edition which is free. Um, so the first thing you should do once you have your Databricks account is to create a cluster. Uh, I already have one created, but it's very easy to create, so you just need to, to click on create cluster, insert a name, and the runtime version, I advise you to, to choose uh, the 7.0 ml beta without GPU, you don't need GPU, and the reason is that uh, this version has the latest, the latest versions of every machine learning framework and library that you will need and for this part we will need TensorFlow 2.0 so it's more convenient you could you could choose 7.5 ml which usually is a standard but if you really choose this one the 6.5 I must warn you that you will need to to manually install uh, TensorFlow 2.0 because this version comes with a TensorFlow uh, 1, 1, 1 1.0 so the next thing that you will need to do is to upload a notebook for this part 1 and as you can see I have already imported but it's very easy to do you just need to right click then click import browse and you can you need to go inside part 1, notebook, and uh, choose this, this file which has an extension of DVC. Okay, now that you have uh, imported the, the notebook, you will notice a folder named NoMLflow version, and that's where we will start because I want to, I want to show you how easy it is to to convert a model to, to MLflow. So let's open this, this notebook. Okay, so in first in first place I want you to to focus on, on the machine learning model uh, that we will use. Uh, and it will be as you can see a standard TensorFlow model that I built using the Fashion MNIST dataset from Keras. So it's a very simple classification problem and I have used uh, CNN layers to solve it. The idea here is not to focus very deeply on the, on the model, but focus instead on the steps to convert it to MLflow and, and to start tracking all of its parameters and metrics. So uh, here you can see uh, the code, which is divided into three parts. The, the data loading and processing, the model definition, and the the piece of code which we'll call the model that we that we train. Now there are essentially three steps to implement MLflow tracking in this model. Uh, the first one is to import the required MLflow packages, obviously. The second one uh, is to to use MLflow automatic logging to log every metric and parameter of the model. The second step, I must warn you that although MLflow has uh, this capability of automatically log uh, the major machine learning frameworks, there are some frameworks that you, you will need to do this logging 
manually. But for the sake of simplicity, um, and because we actually can use automatic logging for TensorFlow, we will uh, stick to, to the automatic logging. And uh, finally, the last thing that you need to, to fix in your code will be to, to uh, initiate a training model with MLflow start run. So let's start. And let's, let's begin by importing the, the required uh, libraries. Okay, I forgot I need to attach the cluster. Okay, let's run this. Perfect, let's check the TensorFlow version. I hope it's, yeah, 2.2. Let's load the data set. Okay, and now before running uh, or training the model, we will need to um to initiate the initiate the auto login so ml flow tensorflow auto log it really is simple okay and here we will need to to train this model with ml flow start to run so with MLflow start run, we can choose a run name like, I don't know, uh, tracking experiment as run and okay. Uh, like so. Now we can return for for the sake of uh, best practices. We can return the um, experiment ID and the run ID. Uh, so run dot info dot run. Let's start with experiment experiment ID. And then run info run id. Okay, I think this is actually all we need to do here for the training part. So like, let's execute the cell. And I have an invalid syntax where run info experiment ID oh yeah of course <laughs> right it should work now and now that let's let's, um, let's call this the um, this model with a set of parameters so we will start with three epochs and a convolutional filter of size two and then 15 epochs and a filter of size three. So we will have essentially uh, two runs. So let's run it. Okay, so this will, t this will take some, some minutes probably. So I will pause this video and continue once it's finished. Okay, so our model has finally completed running and we can now open the MLflow user interface to, to compare these two runs. So, I don't know if you can see what I can do, but... Okay, so you basically need to click here in runs, runs, and you can see here the, the two runs that we just did. The first one with three epochs and the uh, second with 15 epochs. And to really open the user interface, you need to click here. Okay. Um, okay, here you can see with more details uh, the two experiments that we have just did. So, uh, 
you can see that we have an accuracy actually the accuracy is similar between the two the the two experiments but we can actually compare them and we can compare the accuracy okay now you can see that yeah it's very similar but they are they are slightly different and this one is slightly better and as strange as it might seem the actually the the experiment with only three epochs was uh, the best one so yeah you can do a lot of things with the user interface you you can see here all the the parameters that the auto logging uh, catch it and uh, you can you can even let me go back you can open an experiment and uh, if you go to artifacts you can you can actually see the the code and the model itself and and other files actually in the next video I will talk more about this and the and this condo YML file, ML model, and so on. So, yeah, ML flow tracking is not is not hard to, to implement in your current machine learning model. It's very easy and it's very very practical and a very powerful tool. tool. Now, now <clears throat> to end this session, I just want to show you uh, these 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 two notebooks here that you. You can find in this folder uh, classes in it and MNIST CNN TF, and they are basically the same code that we did here, but in a much more organized way. All all our classes are in this file name classes in it, and our driver will be this file. So uh, this style of coding is much more close to to what you would actually find in a real company. So let's actually open it for you just to see uh, yeah this file actually just works basically like a driver you load the data set and here you have you define the parameters and you iterate over those parameters and in this file classes in it you you will have all the the classes uh, defined And the way, and the way you, I have coded is when you. Let me just atta attach a cluster. You just need to run this, this piece of code to um, to actually import uh, these classes. Let me just run this for you to see. Yeah, and that's it. And then you can you can do whatever you you want and use these classes. Uh, and that's it. I, and that's it. I just wanted uh, here to show you um, how how you you could find a more real or at least close to real life uh, scenario of a machine learning model or project. And that's essentially it for MLflow tracking for this session. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one where I will show you how easy it is to uh, to package. MLflow projects, so basically how to use MLflow projects and models, modules. So basically, yeah, that's it and I really hope to see you in the next session. Thank you.